So today we're going to look at the Q30 wireless earphones by Soundpeats. It says it has built-in magnets and up to 8 hours of battery life. Now this one says new, I'm guessing the next model that comes out will be newer, the newest, I don't know. Now here they say let your ears decide and I'm sure they're directing that towards name brand competitors or people that only buy products by if it's a popular brand or not. So here's just a few of the specs on the back. So let's go ahead and open the box and see what we've got. So it looks like it takes an hour and a half according to the quick start guide and it tells you to long press for five seconds to pair to your phone and enjoy. So here it comes with a pretty thick user manual. I don't think we're going to need that. And to give you a special gift, you get an extra six months warranty extension just by joining their privileges community. So that might be worth it. It comes with this small pouch. So it does come with a micro USB charger. And you've also got a couple different sizes on the ear fins. You got four additional sizes for the ear tips. They also give you a line clip. And you also get three slide line buckles. You can see where the logos are, are the magnets. So they do already come with the ear fins. You can easily just slide those off. So here you've got the volume up or next track, volume down or previous track, play or pause, LED light and microphone. And here on the side is where you plug the charging cable in. On the back side of the remote is the Soundpeats logo. You can see there's the LED indicator light once you hold down the play button for five seconds. Pair it with your phone. So you can see there the volume goes up when you hit volume on the controls. So that's nice. When you hit play, you can see the song starts playing. Hit play again and it pauses. So the first thing you're probably wondering is how do they sound? So I took them to my coworker who has the Beats X headphones and said, here, try these and see how you think they compare. After using them, his response was, I can't even tell the difference. You paid how much for these? I was like $28. He seemed surprised that they sounded this good. And one thing that I like is there's just enough bass to make it sound really good, but not overpowering. I don't think you could really say how good these sound any better than what his response was. Now I also use the headphones on the treadmill and various other workouts. Just a lot of different movements to see how good these headphones would stay in. I was surprised that I couldn't get them to fall out. Now the only somewhat negative thing I have about these is when jogging, the controls on the right side would swing back and forth and hit against my neck. So I added the line clip that came with it and it seemed to fix that issue for the most part. So after using them at work for about seven or eight hours, listening to music or podcasts, they still had 50% left. Then after using them for about six hours the next day, they finally ran out of juice and gave me the message, your battery is low. So overall, it lasted around 13 hours, which I think is really good. Now keep in mind, that's with the volume around 25 to 30% in an office environment. But I personally think at 50% volume, it's a little too loud. I did notice when using the USB port in my computer, which is just the standard 2.0 USB, it seemed to take about half an hour longer than if you would use a wall adapter. If you're looking at Bluetooth headphones for $30 or less, 
these are definitely the ones to get. Don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up if you haven't already. This is Brian from Fish Bee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.